Hello everyone, I hope you're having a great day. This video is about the past perfect continuous, a very important yet confusing tense in English. It's part of a video series of 12 lessons on all 12 tenses. The past perfect continuous expresses the past in the past. It's an activity or situation which was occurring for some period of time before a particular point in past time. Now that's kind of a mouthful, it's a lot to understand, so let's look at some examples. You can see the point now and then the point past. The past perfect continuous expresses something you had been doing before that past point. She had been running when the airplane flew overhead. The structure of this is subject, she, had been, plus the main verb in the present participle, which means adding ing, running. She had been running when the airplane flew overhead. Look at the chart again. The airplane flew overhead at the point past. She had been running for some time before that point. For negative sentences and question sentences, the structure is a bit different. For negative sentences, we can say, Hannah had not been running when she saw the airplane. Or you can say, Hannah hadn't been running. For question sentences, the structure is like this. Had Hannah been running when the airplane flew overhead? Here are some more examples. Had they been fighting when you arrived? I couldn't understand her because I hadn't been studying English at the time. She had been working out for three months when she noticed that she had lost three pounds. Let's look at the first example. Had they been fighting when you arrived? When you arrived is the point in the past. Fighting is what they had been doing before that point in the past. John was very tired. He had been running. I could smell cigarettes. Somebody had been smoking. So, at a point in the past, I could smell cigarettes. At some point before that past point, somebody had been smoking. Suddenly, my car broke down. I was not surprised it had been running, sorry, it had not been running well for a long time. Had the pilot been drinking before the crash? You can see how you can use this in a positive, negative, or in a question sentence. So how do we use this? Uh, when do we use this? Here are the basic rules. The past perfect continuous can be used to talk about a situation or activity that went on before a particular past time and either finished at that time, continued beyond that time, or finished shortly before that time. Those are the three main usages. We'll look at an example of each one. So for finished at that time, we can say, I had been reading all day when you suddenly called. This implies that when you called, I stopped reading. Two, continued beyond that time. She had been feeling sick and therefore declined my call. After my call, she continued feeling sick. Or finished shortly before that time. I had been reading all day and was taking a nap before you called. She had been waiting for two hours when he arrived. This describes an action before something happened. So those are the basic usages of the past perfect continuous. We're going to go into some more advanced rules and special situations. It's quite common to be confused about past perfect or past perfect continuous. We use the past perfect to talk about an event that was finished at a particular point in the past. The past perfect continuous is used to talk about event or situation that was in progress recently before or up until a particular past time. The difference is that the past perfect emphasizes that an event was finished at a particular point in the past. The past perfect continuous is more ambiguous. It could have finished or it could be continuing. We don't really know. It depends on the context. Here's um, a picture of the past perfect. There's the point in the past. Before the point in the past, it's something that we had done. It's done. It's finished. Past perfect continuous. We have the point in the past. And then we have something we had been doing, which was happening continuously. It may still be happening. Example. 
I had finished my homework at 5 p.m. I had been finishing my homework at 5 p.m. Past perfect, I had finished my homework at 5 p.m. 5 p.m. is the point in the past, and my homework had already been finished. Past perfect continuous, I had been finishing my homework at 5 p.m. 5 p.m. is the point in the past, but it's not entirely clear if the finishing of the homework was done. Although they are different, sometimes we can use the past perfect continuous and the past perfect with a very similar meaning. For example, I had been studying all day, so I felt I deserved a break. I studied all day, so I felt I deserved a break. These two sentences have very similar meaning. However, if we talk about how many times something happened, we're going to use the past perfect, not the past perfect continuous. We had stayed at that hotel three times in 2012. We stayed there three times. We have a specific amount of times, so we use the past perfect. They had only played basketball six times before their first tournament game. We have a particular amount of times, six, so we use the past perfect. This is a restatement of the basic rules we already learned, that the past perfect continuous can be used to talk about a situation or activity that went on before a particular past time and finished at that time, continued beyond it, or finished shortly before it. I just want to review that and emphasize it for the next rules. If we are not interested in how long an action or situation went on for, we should use the past continuous. This means that we don't care how long the action had happened. I met Emma when she was working at the high school. It doesn't matter how long she had been working at the high school. She was playing guitar when the phone rang. We don't really care how long she had been playing guitar, so we just use past continuous. Remember that. If we're not interested in how long the action or activity went on for, We just use the past continuous, but if we want to emphasize how long it was happening for and when it finished, we may be more right to use the past perfect continuous. Now, there's the important issue of state verbs, always a kind of confusing situation. Generally speaking, we don't use state verbs with continuous tenses, and that includes the past perfect continuous, of course. So we don't use the past perfect continuous with state verbs. Instead, we try to use the past perfect. Believe, love, and own. These are state verbs because they describe a state of being. They don't describe an action per se. We had believed that aliens weren't real before we saw the UFO. They had loved each other before they broke up. I had owned my car for 12 months before it was stolen. All of these are state verbs, so we use the past perfect and not the past perfect continuous because state verbs don't go well with continuous tenses. An interesting point is that the past perfect continuous is commonly used in written English. It is also used in spoken English, but less often. So if you feel that you don't really hear people using this tense in their speech, then you are absolutely correct. It's more commonly used in writing. And that's the end of our advanced rules for the past perfect continuous. But stick around, we're going to do a short quiz to review. This is multiple choice. I want you to read the sentence, pause the video, and pick the right answer. The answer is, how long had she been studying by the time she graduated? I hope you're ready. The answer is, they had been writing articles on various topics for three days. The answer is, she had been watching different kinds of movies all week. Marie had been traveling all around the world since December.
The author had been writing fantasy novels all his life. All right, this is fill in the blanks. Read the verbs and the sentences and put the verbs in the correct sentences with the proper form, past perfect continuous. I'll give you a minute to do that and then I'll tell you the answers. <clears throat> okay, I hope you're ready. Number one is, they had been playing hockey on that rink for three years. Number two, the poet had been writing romantic poems since this morning. Three, had you been enjoying the concert up to that point? Four, Ricky had been playing the song for a week. Five, we had been watching the television program all day. This is a composition exercise. Please write or create your own sentences verbally using these verbs, veto, subside, teach, run, and walk. And don't forget to use the past perfect continuous. You can pause the video and do that if you want, but we are done the lesson and I will leave you to it and good luck studying.